all right hello youtube so do you guys want to use this terminal on your windows 10 instead of this if yes you are in the perfect video and i'm going to show you how you can get this terminal fully designed fully custom so let's roll the intro and let's start the video all right so here we are at the system and the first thing I'm going to want to do is check whether you have terminal installed or not because on Windows 10 there is not like the terminal doesn't come pre-installed on Windows 10 it's only for Windows 11 and the above Windows 11 features as well that are going to be coming soon I guess so the first thing we're going to do is check if you have terminal installed now if you don't have this installed you're going to head to Microsoft Store and you're going to search up terminal now after you search up terminal the first you're gonna download this one windows terminal after you have installed this you're gonna open this and now we're gonna start customizing this so first thing you're gonna to want to do is click on this then go to settings and we are going to set this to default application since windows 10 has two i think all the windows has two three applications to run terminal and powershell and command prompt so we're just gonna set our terminal to default and we are going to set default profile to windows powershell because that's just better than command prompt in my opinion of course you can like anything that you want the next thing the next thing you're going to want to do is uh, go to appearance uh, allow this use material in tab so that the tab becomes a bit nice to look at like this now one thing you're going to want to understand that's if you have a uh, animated background this tab is gonna flicker and it's gonna annoy you if you have this animated background like I do uh, it's gonna flicker and it's gonna annoy you so you're gonna wanna switch this off if you have an animated background animated wallpaper wallpaper engine now in my case I just pause this and that works for me too so it doesn't flicker when you have this paused so if you have an animated background just take care of this now after that we're gonna head down and uh, all right our work is done here we're go gonna go to color schemes now these color schemes are kind of basic you know like you can use them right they are nice but they are not my thing I don't like this uh, I would rather have something else so if you don't like any of these color themes you're gonna head to first link in the description and it's gonna lead you to this website now this website has uh, quite a few like uh, themes for Windows Terminal uh, you're gonna choose whichever one you like for me it's AU Dark, AU Mirage that works as well you're gonna click on get theme now we're gonna open the terminal and we're gonna go to open JSON file this is gonna open the config file for your terminal and you're gonna scroll down until you see schemes now these are the themes that you have pre-installed on your terminal you can remove these if you want but i wouldn't recommend since these are like default so you shouldn't uh, mess with them just add your theme uh, make space between any two themes add your theme and add a comma at the end save the file and close it now the next thing you're going to do is open terminal and if you have done everything correct the next time when you relaunch the terminal it should show your theme like this we're gonna relaunch it and go to settings uh, color schemes yeah right there hey you mirage so if you did everything correct it should show it like this if you didn't just go back watch the video again how I did this we're gonna click this set as default save now this is our default theme alright so we got our default theme set up we got our taskbar set up now the next thing we're gonna do is head to settings again and we're gonna go to defaults now these uh, in this you can come to appearance since all of this is pretty useless if you want you can customize these you can customize icons and stuff but that's not my thing I'm just gonna come down to appearance and change the cursor shape first of all because I don't like this bar I like uh, empty box that's I'm gonna use that and I'm also gonna try this save now the next thing okay yeah no that's that's ugly no 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 yeah we're just gonna go disable this and act like that never happened 
all right so the next thing you're going to do is come to come down in appearance transparency and you're going to reduce this so that gives a transparent look to your terminal like this it has become a bit transparent but it's a bit too transparent like i can not see the text if it's somewhere in the uh, lighter part of my wallpaper i'm just gonna go ahead and upgrade this to 75 percent save the file save the configuration my bad and yeah that works okay this is nice now the next thing you're gonna do is we want this gone the windows powershell copyright try the new cross platform powershell in this path we want something custom right now you have two choices you can either use uh oh my posh or you can use another script by this guy named the infamous koala on github i think he's pretty cool but well, you do you <laughs> according to me he's pretty cool so i'm gonna use a script now you're gonna head to second link in the description and you're gonna come here into terminal mod so this is the repository that we are going to be using now this is open source that means you can read the code and flame if you think that's bad and since this is a beginner project i wouldn't recommend flaming but of course you can flame if you want so this is an open source project you can pull request you can make a pull request if you want if you think you can uh, do something better with this go ahead do this now if you don't know how to compile this you can of course download the release version but if you want to learn how to compile this i have written the entire uh, readme.md file on how to compile this installation compilation and how to set this up uh, so we are gonna in this video i'm just gonna use the compiled version because I, that's i'm just a bit lazy so we are going to download this and extract this on our desktop no i don't want to buy your plan thank you all right now we're gonna double click this and we are now uh, gonna enter a rejex now what this means is i don't fucking know why i use the term rejex but that's like the thing that you want instead of the system path so in my case i would want koala at the rate windows 10 100 okay <laughs> windows 10 now we're gonna go with the dash and enter so this is gonna make a new profile in our terminal and now and also make a config file for the terminal now how you can use this file i'm gonna tell you but first of all you need to copy this path and copy this open your uh, run menu windows plus r enter the path change the username to your username in my case it's Keisha, so i'm gonna use Keisha. i don't fucking know i cannot see Keisha. okay so this is the profile that the script made uh we are gonna edit that later first of all we are gonna go back to the folder that the script was in we're gonna cut this terminal config from here to the folder that we just opened and now we're just gonna close this folder keep our terminal open and copy this path and we're gonna go here enter a full stop space copy paste the path that you just copied from this folder enter a forward slash type this terminal config dot ps1 terminal config right yeah okay save the file close close and we're gonna control plus c and close all the instances of our terminal now the next time you're gonna open your terminal it's gonna look something like this all right so that's how you get this top text thingy terminal modded by infamous koala and the regex that i used now of course this is pretty uh basic you can do this but another thing uh for example if you have never actually used the oh my posh or any foreign scripts to modify your terminal it's going to show you a warning like this the one i have mentioned in my repository now to uh allow your terminal to use actually use these uh profiles you're gonna allow the remote signed uh, execution policy that's something you can read about i'm gonna probably link it third link in the description about microsoft execution policy and what that is if you consider it safe go ahead use it if you don't consider it consider it safe 
uh, don't use it just go with oh my posh but yeah that's something you gotta do with everything for uh, your windows to be customized so now this actually allows anything to run with your terminal now that raises a security flag that's with uh, of course malware and backdoors so when you are using this uh, actually when you are like inputting your uh, rejects that you want to use just be a bit careful that what you put don't just ask anyone for the rejects they're just gonna send you a backdoor or something so just be careful what you enter in the rejects just enter a sane normal uh, hash or string that you want to use and until you do that you're pretty good but yeah you have to allow the permission of remote signed now that's something that i didn't really see a lot of youtubers talk about when uh, configuring their oh my posh but yeah that's something that you gotta do so that is it for this video and if you enjoyed make sure to leave a like and tell me in the comments what i can improve about my content i like some healthy criticism and yeah thank you so much for everything i guess <laughs> my entire youtube presence is made by you guys so yeah i i like seeing criticism in my comments you know healthy criticism is pretty nice for me because i get to know what i am doing wrong or what, what i should do next or what i should do more in my videos so yeah thank you for watching and i'm gonna see you next time in a new video